Do you prefer songs with a subtle or obvious message? With a what? A subtle or obvious message. A uh, message? You mean like, what song with a message? Well, like Eve of Destruction and things like that. Do I prefer that to what? I don't know, but your songs are supposed to have a subtle <coughs> message. A subtle message? <laughs> well, they're supposed to. <laughs> Where'd you hear that? <laughs> In a movie magazine. Oh, my God. <laughs> how many people who labor in the same musical vineyard in which you toil, how many are protest singers? That is, people who use their music and use the songs to protest the uh, social state in which we live today, the matter of war, the matter of crime, or whatever it might be. Uh, how many? Yes. Are there many who do? Yeah, well, I, I think there's about uh, 136. You say about 136? Mm. Or do you mean exactly 136? Uh, it's either 136 or 142. Humor? Humor? Yeah. Of course I do. I love humor. I love to laugh. That's one of my favorite things. <laughs> the only reason I ask is because, you know, People, you know, you read all articles about your obsession, you know, the sullen and quiet and all those type of things. Once in a while. What makes you laugh, then? Ah, uh, something's funny. <laughs> right, you got me there. So people would actually come to the house? Uh -huh. and, and do what? Want to discuss things with me, politics and philosophy and organic farming and things, you know. What did you know about organic farming? Nothing. <laughs> Not a thing. What, is what do you hope the future promises for Bob Dylan, and equally, what do you think it promises for Robert Zimmerman? Well, this is it. This is the future. This is today. What about tomorrow? This is tomorrow, too. You're <laughs> standing in it. Do you think you've uh, passed the apex of your career? Excuse me? Do you think you've passed the apex of your career? What career? <laughs> I've never had a career. What is really the truth? Really, the truth is just a plain picture. Of, of, you know, a plain picture of, uh, of, uh, uh, let's say, uh, 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 you know, a tramp vomiting, man, into the sewer, you know, and and, and, uh, and next door to the picture, uh, you know, Mr. Rockefeller or, you know, Mr. Uh, C.W. C. Jones, you know, on the subway going to work. In the 60s and the 70s, superstars were people like Hugh Lennon, Bowie, and Jagger. Today, it seems that it's more people like Michael Jackson. Do you see a difference in, uh, in quality or in what people demand or expect from a, from a star in music? Well, yeah, you, you, know, you, have, to, you have to make new exciting videos. You know. That's a big, big difference. When they talk about Bob Dylan as, as a legend and a, a folk hero, do you really think that anybody, let alone yourself, deserves that sort of description? I don't know anyone who calls himself that, you know. No, I don't. So you, would you say that anybody deserves that sort of label? Well, you know, somebody maybe, you know, like, uh, like a Robin Hood, <laughs> or Jesse James, maybe. You know, people who are back in history somewhere. Have you lost your enthusiasm? For what? For life and for writing. <laughs>